Jeremiah chapter 46. The following is the message from the Lord that came to the prophet Jeremiah concerning the Gentile nations. Regarding Egypt and the army of Pharaoh Necho, stationed by the Euphrates River at Carchemish, an area that later faced an assault from Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, during the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, the king of Judah. Prepare your shields and draw near for battle. Ready your horses, O horsemen, and stand firm with your helmets. Polish your spears and put on your armor. But why do I see them filled with fear, retreating? Their mighty warriors are crushed and have fled without looking back. For fear surrounds them, declares the Lord. Let neither the swift escape nor the strong find refuge. They shall stumble and fall toward the north, near the Euphrates River. Who is this rising like a flood, with churning waters? Egypt rises like a flood, and its waters surge like rivers. It declares, I will cover the earth. I will destroy the city and its inhabitants. Prepare your horses for battle, O chariots, rage on. Let the mighty men come forth, Ethiopians and Libyans skilled with shields, and the Lydians adept in archery. For this is the day of the Lord God of hosts, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge himself against his foes. The sword will devour, be satisfied, and drink its fill of their blood. For the Lord God of hosts has prepared a sacrifice in the north, by the Euphrates River. Go to Gilead and seek balm, O virgin daughter of Egypt. In vain ye use many medicines, there is no healing for you. The nations have heard of your disgrace, and your cry has echoed across the land. For warrior has stumbled against warrior, and both have fallen together. The word that the Lord spoke to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the impending invasion of Egypt by Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. Proclaim in Egypt, declare in Migdal. Announce in Naph and Tophens. Stand firm and prepare, for the sword will devour all around you. Why have your valiant warriors been swept away? They did not stand because the Lord thrust them down. Many have stumbled. They have fallen over each other. They say, Get up. Let us return to our own people, and to the land of our birth, away from the oppressor's sword. There they will say, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, is nothing but noise. He has missed his opportunity. As I live, declares the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. One will come like Tabor among the mountains and like Carmel by the sea. O daughter dwelling in Egypt, prepare for captivity. For Naf will become desolate, uninhabited. Egypt, once a beautiful heifer, is now facing destruction from the north. Even her mercenaries within are like fatted calves. They will also turn and flee together. They will not stand their ground. For the day of their calamity is upon them. The time of their punishment. Her sound is like a hissing serpent. As an army approaches with axes. Like woodcutters chopping down trees. They will cut down her forest, an impenetrable one. Because they are more numerous than locusts. They cannot be counted. The daughter of Egypt will be put to shame handed over to the people from the north. The Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, says, Behold, I will punish Thebes, Pharaoh, Egypt, her gods and her kings, Pharaoh and all who trust in him. I will deliver them into the hands of those seeking their lives, into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and his servants. Afterward, Egypt will be inhabited as in days of old, declares the Lord. But do not fear, O Jacob, my servant. Do not be dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will save you from afar, your descendants from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return, have rest, and be at ease, with no one to make him afraid. Do not fear, O Jacob, my servant, declares the Lord. For I am with you. I will make a complete end of all the nations where I have driven you. But I will not make a complete end of you. I will correct you in measure. But I will not leave you entirely unpunished.